Welcome to Smart Investing at Your Library, an online course. This video is a helpful step-by-step -step guide to helping you log on and use the Smart Investing online course. Now that you've enrolled, you can see the Smart Investing course of your choice. This is going to be your main page for your Smart Investing at Your Library online course. Before we begin going through the course itself, Let's look at some computer requirements that you need in order to run this course. First, click here on Minimum Computer Requirements. Here's a list of things that you need to look for on your computer to be able to actually go through the Smart Investing online course. One thing that I think you need to look at, Adobe Reader. There will be many worksheets that you need to take a look at, so make sure you update this as well. If you feel that your computer doesn't meet these requirements, you can go to your local library. They will have computers available for you to go through the course. Here's some key features that I kind of want to point out right now. As you can see, these icons illustrate certain aspects of the course. For instance, this movie reel demonstrates that there's a video for you to watch. This person with a, with a screen represents a mini lecture. Use this page to understand the key. The third step before you begin the course is going to be watching the course introduction video. Let's take a look at that now. Welcome to Smart Investing. This is a four week course developed by Iowa State University Extension that could make a big difference in your life. I know that's a bold statement, but it's true. What you're seeing here is an introduction video to the entire the course that kind of illustrates how the course is going to function. With on their own. There are three different courses for Smart Investing that correspond to your age and financial situation. This Smart Investing class is targeted to those people who are building up their investment portfolios. Let's say the baby boomer crowd. This Smart Investing class is targeted to those people who are near retirement or have already retired. Let's get into the course itself. Smart Investing is divided into four week courses. When you finish the first week's activities, watch for the posting of the next week's lessons on Monday mornings. By the way, the previous lessons will stay posted on the website in case you want to go back and review them or spend some additional time on some activities. We're just going to walk through week one for right now. First up, we have a mini lecture to listen to. Let's click on that. If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, well, I'd buy you a house. I would buy you a house. The second step of week one is your learning modules. Here you have three PDF files that are going to do the bulk of the learning you do for this week. Let's open Preparing to Invest. As you can see, the PDF file is opened in a browser, which enables you to read through clearly. Read through this information. Take your time. When you're finished, again, close your browser window. Return to this window to move on to the next. Step 4 is a review of the concepts you've learned by completing this matching exercise. This question and answer review is flash based, so make sure your Adobe Flash is up to date. The fifth step is watching the starting out video. This is a video that features two families that discuss their approaches to investing. Click here to start the video. And having a retirement account and seeing how it is affected by the stock market, that is, has become a concern for me uh, recently. Um, I know a couple of people who uh, you know, are older. Just to mention, you can pause the video and control volume over here. Be patient as the video loads. And finally, here are two very important buttons. The first is the HD toggle. If your video is not playing very smoothly, Switch HD to off by pushing this button. Next to this button is the full screen button. Click this if you want to watch your video in full screen. 
Let's move on to step six. Complete the goal setting and financial planning worksheet. Here's another PDF file for you. It is a worksheet that you can read through and complete. If you wish to print this, simply go up to your main menu and print the page. You can fill it out and keep it for your records. Step seven is a quiz, investment risk tolerance quiz. Clicking this opens another browser window. It takes you to a website that you can then fill out this quiz. Step eight, think about investing worksheet. Again, a PDF you can open and read through and fill out answers to these questions. Number nine, we have check your knowledge self-test. This is going to be an online quiz you take within the program. Take some time. Fill out these answers. When you're finished, submit. This is going to let you know what questions you got right and wrong so you can learn from it. Finally, number 10, there are some optional activities. You can go to the Treasury Direct website, check out some books, or read through some ISU Extension publications. If you have any questions, up here in the upper left-hand corner will be the instructor and technical assistance contacts. You click on this, it will open your email and allow you to email the instructor or the technical assistance person. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and we hope that you have an easy time going through the Smart Investing online course.